what is it about the takeover family? You guys turn out D1 guys all over the place. You got a couple going to, to Maryland uh, next year. And, and what is it about the program that makes this program so special? Uh, I mean, I, you just got to give credit to everybody that's involved, really. Uh, Coach Keith Stevens, uh, he's done an amazing job just churning talent mm -hmm. and just making sure everybody gets better when you're over there. I mean, there's guys on the on the TakeOver Orange team, the national team, who's just, they're talented. They, they might not be able to make it to the EYBL team, but it's 10 Division One guys on that team. Yes. So it's like, it, I, I just think that everybody's so well invested in that area that you just have guys who just want to get better. Like, uh, you, you have DC Premier, who, who was once a formerly DC Assault. Um, you have teams like Maryland 3D or teams from back in the day that just, they everything they do, like Slam and Jam or something mm -hmm. like that, there's so many teams that, that has players, and, and we have so many guys who are very talented in that area, so I just got to give everybody credit. And playing with guys that way, like playing with guys that you know they're going to be Division One guys in college, and then getting to college, does that help the transition that you're not playing with some local AAU team where you know you're going to score 50 but you are playing against the competition that you know you're going to play against when yeah. you get up here. Yeah, I definitely think that does it. That does an amazing job for, for preparing us to uh, get to this level. Now, when, once you get to this level, it's a whole another step because yeah. it's so ma so many physical guys. Uh, when I came here, I was like, kind of like Cam, I was like 18 years old playing against like a 23, 24 year old. Mm -hmm. But then you, once you get used to that, and then you are talented as guys like Cam, or you're talented like Sadiq Bey, or you're talented like a Jalen Brunson or Josh Hart. Uh, once you understand the way that Villanova plays, it, uh, I think it helps you. And just being from our background uh, of, of having so many talented guys and so many Division One guys, I think it does kind of give you a, a understanding of the game just a little bit more before you get to uh, actual Division One uh, college hoops. Talk about the family, kind of like the family atmosphere of Villanova is the past guys that come back maybe that you talk to that have been through the wars. Now you're in a position where you've been through all of the wars. What is it like being part of Villanova's family, not only as a player, but knowing going forward that you'll always be part of this family? Yeah, uh, I, I mean, uh, it means a lot. It means the world to you. Uh, I think that's one of the things that sold me on coming to Villanova was just having so many guys that from the past who, who were probably 30 years older than me, 20 years older than me, telling me, oh, yeah, I've watched you from this, that, this, and that. So I'm like, oh, wow, like these guys are really invested in me. Um, taking time to talk to my family at, at different events, I just, I really appreciate that. And that made me feel just like, everybody cares about you and it's really organic here and it's really true and it's genuine and you can't ask for anything more than that so uh, having that uh, here at Villanova makes you just want to defend rebound play hard and play together for your teammates and your coaches and I think that's just how how it goes here and I think we all take pride in that and it makes us uh, an amazing amazing culture. Fast forwarding to this year coaching change have you seen any differences this is kind of a continuation of what you've seen here um, what has it been like um, with the coaching change? Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I think there's always going to be differences once a coach leaves and a new coach has come. Mm -hmm. But the only thing that, that's really different is, is the, the voice of where the message is coming from. It's not Coach Wright anymore. So I think we were all used to seeing Coach Wright talk to us, telling us different things. But now that we have Coach uh, Kyle Neptune, it's the mm -hmm. same type of guy. I mean, uh, he, he's fiery, he's intense, and, and he literally is telling us the same thing that Coach Wright tells us. So, uh, the only really difference is, is is the face, Kyle Neptune instead of Jay Wright. But other than that, I mean, they preach the same principles. Uh, they talk about the same things, and, and they're both guys who just want everybody else to get better. Toughest guy you ever faced. I don't care if it's oh, high school, man, college. Man. What is the toughest guy you oh, ever faced? Man, you know what? I'm going to be biased. Justin Moore. Justin Moore. <laughs> <laughs> awesome.